Yeah, that'll do it. Introduce sport, some paused squats. That's probably why I did it to you. Something brand new. I haven't trained for two weeks. That's why too. That'll do it as well. Something brand new and not training for two weeks. Mm. What a great way to start. Thursday Thunder. Thursday Thunder. Been a while. It, ha- it has been. For yourself anyway. Well, yeah, yeah, we didn't even film last week. No. Because no. it was post-Easter and... No one wanted to. <laughs> no, didn't no, I? Wasn't I, f- I, didn't, I was away. Remember? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I didn't get back until Thursday that's night. That's right. So um, we missed out last week. Mm-hmm. And then the week before that was Ari. Yep. So I haven't been on for three weeks. Yeah, and we've actually got three... <coughs> we've actually got some stuff to talk about today because look at all that... Box, that's a big box <laughs> right there. Uh, we've got lots yeah. of new stuff, we've got we lots do. of stuff going on. How's your training? Training's going very well, still actually. prepping, still prepping, still yeah, going, still prepping, yeah. still going strong. Yep, 90 Body weight around 91, sitting, like, sitting pretty consistent around 91. So, yep. body fat's coming off slowly. Still got the you know, that band around the midsection, right? You know, hips. Lower like glute, <laughs> that's where it all goes. But other than that, it's going very well. Training is actually feeling really good for the first time in a while. Uh, maybe because I've got a plan in place and I feel I've got, yep. I, I train better when I have a plan both for nutrition and programming and, and weight training. If I don't, if one falls off, I just go. Uh, well, it's the same. I, I've yeah. got no interest in training if I don't have a plan. Yeah. So it's funny. Yeah. I can't understand these people who, well, I suppose I did it for years mm-hmm. too, but people just come in and train and they just sort of wing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess at the same time you enjoy it. Like every now and then, it's good to just go in to do something random, especially if you've been following a program for such a long time. Could it can get rather monotonous and boring? And well, it can. I've been doing the same program now for six, three months, six months, six months. Yeah, pretty yeah. much the same exercises day in and day out, mm-hmm. and and it paid off. Like just before Easter, my program, oh, yeah. current program, came to an end. So yep. I did a. A test, so I got a 152 kilo squat, mm-hmm, which is a PB. Yeah, 196 deadlift, which was a PB, and 106 kilo bench, which was a PB. Yeah. So, and people would ask, "What's with the funny numbers?" Well, we got micro plates. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you do powerlifting, where 500 grams difference. That's right. Is a difference. So a PB is a PB, mm-hmm. even if it's one kilo. Yep. But that being said, I I've done the same, and I've gone back now and started the same program with the same exercises mm-hmm. again. Because they worked. Yeah. I don't want to change it. And and someone actually says, oh, don't you get monotonous? No, because I'm improving. So, mm. and, and with my accessories, I still apply progressive overload to them. So track them, see what I did last time, try to do one rep more, add yep. more weight. So in the end, if my, as far as I'm concerned, if my accessory movements go up in strength, mm-hmm. my squat, my bench and my deadlift is going to go up yep. as well. Understandable. So. But yeah, no, and those that those, my goal was to break four fifty, mm-hmm. which is the Australian record, and well, those those panages did it quite comfortably. Yeah, and I ha- and um, I on based on those numbers, I would have had the Australian total record. I would have had the bench and the deadlift record. But the guy who's got got the record at the moment, he's got a good squat. He's got a hundred and sixty kilo squat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I beat him on deadlift. I beat him on bench, and hence why I got the total. I Beat him by like 25 kilos mm-hmm. of deadlift. But his squat's really good. Yeah, what was your squat again you said a second ago? 156. Oh, so you're four kilos. So off. I'm four kilos off that. Yeah. Off a five to beat the record. So which, um, no, no, seven. Seven and a half kilos. 152 and a half. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I think that's still a year away of training. Yeah, well, yeah. consistently, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But doable. But doable. Mm. Based on... How I've been progressing in my squat, I think, yeah, maybe even six months, maybe, 160 is possible, but we'll see. Cool. But, yeah, anyway. Um, all right, yeah, we got a lot of new stuff. Yeah. Like it's been pretty quiet. It's the first um, time in a few weeks. Thing. Yeah, actually, so yeah. we haven't had too much in the way of new stuff. So I'll just go into the box here and yeah. bring out one at a time. Most so this awkward. is our first one. Yeah. The We've spoken about the Gentech Protein Cafe. Uh-huh. We've had it in one kilo, and it's now in the three kilo. Yes, yeah, so obviously three kilo of a whey protein concentrate, whey protein isolate blend. Yep. Um, it's actually got just about five different kinds of protein in there. You have 75 serves here. Uh, 30, 40 grams scoop per serve, around 27 grams of protein. These mix very, very yep. more And I'd thicker. go right out there with some of the best yep. tasting proteins on the market. Without a doubt. These are incredible, especially if you add, like, you're making your own smoothies. They do have a little bit more fat, a little bit more carbohydrate, but that just adds to the, you know, the umptuous. It does taste really nice, but at the same time, it's like, it's minimal. It's five, like, four grams of sugar per yep. one serve, which is essentially, you burn that off farting. 
<laughs> yeah. So uh, a lot of people have been waiting for the three mm-hmm. kilos. So that's available in the three flavors: chocolate, vanilla, and banana. One seventy four ninety five. Yeah, so that this is available yeah. now in store and online. And the one kilo also comes in salted caramel. Yeah. Yep. But not available in three kilo just yet. Yep. Cool. One seventy four ninety five. Beautiful. All right. And. We right. have got the whey ripped in the choc honey crunch. Yeah, so this so we had the iso ripped yep. in the choc honey crunch, but now the prima bolics whey ripped is in the choc honey crunch. Now, wasn't the iso ripped the choc honey crunch? Wasn't that going to be like a limited flavor for Easter? Yeah, and yeah. I think they did that in the, this one as well. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I haven't tried this yet, and yeah, so I have. Ch- it's really nice, choc honey crunch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if so the, honey- the choc honey co- the honeycomb flavor is there, but it's not. You know, like some of them, it's really. There in your yeah. face. No, yep. this is you've got your chocolate and you've got the honeycomb base. It's actually really nice. Mm. Not too sweet, really nice. Again, a whey blend. Yep. Uh, whereas the ISO ripped is obviously your isolate. Yeah. Um, but that's available now, uh, sixty nine ninety five until stocks last. Yeah, and I think we're all stocked up on the way ripped as well. We have because what they're doing is they're actually doing a reformulation on this. Yes, they are currently. So uh, the new formulation of way ripped. Uh, won't be in for about another six weeks, I reckon. Yes, yeah, so like we're gonna we're gonna get really low because this has actually been in the last few weeks one of our best selling proteins. Mm-hmm. It is, and I think it aided to it. It, it aids to its four thousand different flavors. <laughs> so right. it caters to every single one. There flavor. is a massive amount of flavors, and they're all really nice. I have to get definitely, yeah. yeah. But yeah, available now. Available so now. Much. And check out this bad boy. That is a lot of creatine. That, that is a is one kilo creatine. So Zombie Labs having uh, released a one kilo creatine, mm-hmm. that just a pure creatine monohydrate, available now seventy four ninety five. Yep. So there's not many com- The only company that we we stock, uh, the other one kilo creatine is the Maxis. Mm. Uh, um, during the creatine shortage that we had a couple of years ago. The creatine crisis, we can call yeah. it, the CC. Yeah, a yep. lot of companies opted out to not do one kilo tubs. They only did small 200 and 400, 500 gram tubs, etc. But uh, now creatine, again, is available very readily for mm-hmm. the suppliers. And uh, a lot of companies are bringing a one kilo back there in. There you go. So we have got the Max is one kilo for sixty nine ninety five. Uh, no, it's seventy four ninety five, seventy four ninety five, and yep. the zombie labs for seventy four ninety five as go. well. And the three grams are looking at three hundred and thirty three servings, so uh, it's a value for money there. But, yeah, available but now. we all know, we both know that Fine. if you want to get good benefit out of creatine, ten grams a day, mm. a two five gram dose split up during the day, morning and afternoon. Doesn't have to be around training. You no. can do it around training if you if that's how you feel that you're going to get it in. But basically, I just take my creatine first thing in the morning when I um, wake up yep. and I take a serve at bedtime when yeah. I go to bed All right. just yep. to keep uh, my creatine levels up. And look, touching on creatine, really, that re- if you're not using creatine and you're weight training or doing any power sport, mm-hmm. you're doing yourself a disservice. Yeah, as yeah. Far as I'm concerned. I agree. I agree. Creatine's been proven to work on so many different levels, from training so many to le- muscle to recovery. If you are a fighter and you don't use creatine now, you're actually uh, possibly um, not damaging your health, but putting your health at risk. Yeah. Because the latest research has shown that creatine can help buffer the effects of concussion. Yeah, especially especially in CTE in football players. That's it can right. lower the uh, lower the damages in the brain. Yeah. But that has actually been that's obviously don't know how much for that, but it has been proven. So yeah. Fighters, yeah. endurance fight, um, endurance runners, uh, yep. sprinters, everything. Creatine is a You're must in any have. power sport you should be using creatine. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go in here. What have we got in here? Ah oh, uh, chocolate greens are back in stock, cool. and they're in a nice little, a little bit better packaging. In regards to the old packaging, was so long uh-huh. you, you couldn't, couldn't get the bottom bit out. Yeah, my hand got stuck. You in couldn't halfway. get your hand in there, yeah. and you'd have to with the scoop. So they've gone into a little bit more user friendly mm-hmm. container. Yeah. That's available now, uh, sixty nine ninety five. Um, still one of our most popular yeah. green formulas. Cool. Let's keep going. What yeah. have we got in here now? What now? All right. Back up to switch. All right. We're going to just, just so grab we'll all these little things. ones out first. So switch has. Have I got all of the switch ones? Nope. All right. That's it. That's it. So switch has come out with a capsule range. Um, now we spoke about. 
Some of you will be asking, oh, I thought the capsule range was banned last year. Well, yes, it was technically, but what the issue was was uh, labelling mm -hmm. with capsules. And you'll find now that capsules are starting to come onto the market, but they won't have any claims on them. No. So the labels will say nothing about what the product is meant to do, mm -hmm. claim to do, etc. It'll just say what the product is, what the ingredients list is, and pretty much a serving size, and that's it. Yep, that's it. Yeah. Mm. So that's how companies are able to come back with um, uh, capsulated products, and a lot more are coming back. They're just going to be very plain label. So if a product is a test booster, mm -hmm. it's not going to say this is a test booster. Not going to say test booster. Or, yeah. No, ele yeah. always elevate testosterone levels, etc. There'll be no claims mm -hmm. on it whatsoever. They're not allowed to even call the product test booster. Yep. For instance, uh, legit subs. Uh, they had a product called uh, the Alpha Test, mm -hmm. and it's just called Alpha now. Yep. Same product, same ingredients, same doses, nothing changed, just the labeling. Just the word changed. less. So some of the ones we got in now, uh, berberine, mm -hmm. good for regulating blood sugar levels. Yep, very good for blood yep. sugar levels, very good for smooth muscle, like cardiac health. Yep. Uh, um, HMB. Now, yeah. this is an old school stuff. Yeah, so this actually stands for hydroxy beta um, hydroxy methyl butyrate. It is the uh, breakdown of leucine. leucine. So exactly once your body right. just leucine, your body will actually break it down to HMB, which has been used to, especially in aging, uh, the aging population of people suffering from sarcopenia or muscle wastage. Yep. This has been shown to actually like slow down that rate and actually increase the rate of muscle loss when you get into that older age bracket 50 60 in terms of weight training in helps, terms of weight training uh, with muscle recovery exactly muscle repair. Yeah. yeah and then we have some pure alcar tabs because we all know alcar is super super like acidic hard to take down so you got some tabs here and some quercetin yeah. so alcar as in acetyl acetylcarnitine yeah. and some quercetin great for the liver you know great for liver enzymes and detoxification etc blah 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 yeah. but quercetin also is horrible to get in your fingers because it's super super yellow and stains everything like turmeric yes. which um, if you do have I've got a tub of it at home and I'm scared to open it because you open it and it goes <laughs> everywhere so that's a great um addition especially if you are you know on that's right <laughs> yep um we've also had primabolics have released some capsule range mm -hmm. as well and we've got some of those in stock as well it's things like tonka alley yeah. and a few other bits and pieces so you will start seeing uh, a lot more as the companies now they're not some people are saying, oh, they're getting around the laws. No, they're not. They're just complying to mm -hmm. all the laws now. Yeah. The regulations just state, if you start making claims on it, then it starts going into the therapeutic side and you need the TGA yep. uh, L number. You need um, to back up those claims. You know, that's right. You, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Where this yep. way is just like, eh. And then it's, this is essentially do your own research. Basically, yeah. it really is. And <laughs> yeah. that's what the TGA says. You know, hmm. That's fine. You, you know, you can take berberine, but do your own research into yep. what it does. Exactly. You know? yeah. But we are, as a, um, you know, we, we'll educate you mm. when you come as in. As much as we do. And let yeah. you know as much as possible. Uh, but, yeah, those are available now. Just different prices. Uh, 69 dollars $49.95 for the HMB, thirty nine ninety five for the carnitine, and forty nine ninety five for the question. Yeah. So they're available now online and in store. And speaking of the Primabolics, so these are a couple of the Primabolics oh, yeah. uh, capsule range. So we've got some Tudka. Tudka, another amazing liver enzyme for, for yeah. the liver. Yeah. And the Tonka Ali there. Tonka Ali, which yeah. is good for testosterone levels. And male and virility, et yeah, cetera. men's hormonal support. Mm. We're not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, two liver. really good products. Yep. They're available now as well, Sixty nine yep. ninety five. Uh, Tudka, we, we um, always sell a lot of Tudka, mm -hmm. especially if you're an enhanced bodybuilder, mm -hmm. you should be using some sort of liver protection, and that's where Tudka yes. will come into play. Very powerful antioxidant. Yep. Yeah. Also good for uh, non-enhanced athletes. No, if of you're course. taking a lot of protein and things like that, you know, and you feel like you might just need a little bit more liver mm. protection, well, there you go. Everything is filtered, filtered to the liver and kidneys, so keep those organs as healthy as possible. That's right. And take these products if you need to. Yep. Yeah. Um, all right, now we're going back into switch. Ooh, all right. So these are your switch hydrate range now. So these are the ones without the carbohydrate. This yes. is the ones without the carbohydrate. So we had the, the one. we had the hydrate plus, yes. the carbs, and this is just pure hydrate. Same ingredients, same things, except that carbohydrate. Yeah, so it's basically an electrolyte uh, hydration formula. So you've got your electrolyte blend, you've got a vitamin and uh, blend 
etc. in there. Mm. Good uh, while you're training. If you're an endurance athlete, into your water bottle oh, yeah. or after training just to help recover, replenish uh, fluids and electrolytes in your body. Mm. So they have got, uh, this one here is a 25 serve for forty nine ninety five. comes in three flavours. I've got orange crush and kiwi watermelon. And I've got the lemon lime. Yeah. But they also have got this now, which is the same product. Ah, but in but stick form. In stick form. There you go. So that you can just take... On your training session or whatever, you can just take yourself a little sachet with you. Yeah. So uh, they're the same price, but there's only 20 sachets in here versus 25 serves. Yeah. So it's like the same product, same serving size, but obviously because of the double packaging, mm-hmm. the costs come a little bit higher. That's why there's only 20 serves in. Yeah, here. but these are obviously great for great for just versatility. Chuck one in your bag. Chuck one yeah, in your in exactly. Your, and right. just have it on the go. So it's a lot easier than carrying around a. You got there's no you can't spill a, a sachet. No. Yeah. So. So yeah, it's yeah. just if you want to take a serve with you, these are really convenient. Mm. Or two or three serves if you're traveling or whatever weekend sport, it's easy to put that into your gym bag. Yep. Rather than take a whole bag with you. There we go. So there you go. Those are all available now. That's it. My box is empty. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that's it. Um, yeah, we had a really big week last week. Mm-hmm. We had a good Super Saturday weekend here at the gym and at the store. So thank you, everyone, for your support. It really is amazing. Um, we all know it's a bit tough out there at the mm-hmm. moment. Everyone's yep. struggling. Their costs are up. Um, but we just want to thank everyone for their support. Definitely. definitely. Um, all right. Just one thing I want to talk about. We're going into contest season. We are. We are in the last two weeks before season A begins. Yep. And it is getting exciting. Yep. All the stuffs are arriving. We'll be getting ready for check-ins. What next week? I believe check-in is next week. Um, so this time we're moving into the shop instead of the oh, gym. Ah, okay. That's yeah. going to be. I wonder how many competitors is it going to rock up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have already really emphasised the. Should we emphasise that again? Yeah. Competitors for season A competing April twenty first, the Sunday. The check-in Tuesday is at, at the shop. Yes, the Australian Muscle the shop. And then the Wednesday gym. down south, down at south at All the competitors will get all that yep. information sent out to them. Check uh, but your basically, email. what I want to just really quickly is do a huge shout out to the ICN sponsors. All right. Um, We've had really good response from our sponsors this year. And as per normal, uh, Max's and Maxine's is our naming rights sponsor. Yep. Have been on board from day one. So from, from the year 2000 when I ran the ICN, Max's came on board as the major sponsor and they've been on board since then. It's awesome. So it's our longest running um, sponsorship, bodybuilding sponsorship in the history of Australian bodybuilding. Yeah, 24 years this year. Yeah. Yeah, wow. So massive shout out to Thank Maxis. You, Maxis. And what Maxis do is they, they, they print all these shirts for me every year. Mm. So, you know, 300 shirts. I couldn't be more grateful. Um, you know, and um, to Tony and the crew all at Maxis, I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. So obviously also Australian Muscle and Australian Muscle, the gym, or the official uh, supplement store and gym of yep. the ICN. That sounds really good, doesn't it? Doesn't it, it? yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, and then I want to just quickly run through the list. We've got our major sponsors, these Monica Scardigno and Alicia Emma. They're our tanning mm-hmm. and hair and makeup, official hair, hair and makeup. Uh, Forever Living, Helen from a Forever Living, for the last four or five years has been supplying these massive great big gift packs to all yeah, our yeah. Um, overall winners. It's Each one of these packs is worth a couple of hundred dollars. So thank you so much, Helen. Um, we've got a new sponsor this year, Peter from the House of Algos. Mm, I've seen, he, I've seen a, that on Instagram. Yeah, he's then. a massage therapist. Yep. He's come on board. Peter is really won't, won, works and wants to work with athletes, bodybuilders, so that's why He's come on board. He'll be actually at the show on the day and he's going to have a little massage chair. Oh, we did that many years. I remember that. We had that many years ago. Yeah, Yeah. cool. All right. So thanks, uh, Peter. And this year we've got Butter Brown Cookies have come on Mm -hmm. board. We've we've had a um, cookie company every year. Yep. Um, And last year we've had Mm -hmm. Half-Baked. Half-Baked in their crew. um, One of their wives is about to give birth, so... He's handed over um, his sponsorship to Butter Brown Cookies this cool. year. 
Yeah. And they'll be there on the day selling cookies uh, and taking pre-orders for all the competitors. Mm, so keep an eye fantastic. out for that on the OCM page. And last of all, Glam Fit Bikinis have been on oh, since forever. Yeah, yeah. Our official bikini supplier, uh, Claire and the crew, they be they supply bikinis uh, worldwide for every single federation. They do everything right in making sure that the cut, everything is perfect for you. Mm. So thank you so much, Claire. Now, the other thing, every year we give out a goodie bag. Yep. And we, um, I asked uh, some of my shop suppliers, and they always come on board, help us out. So we've got a really good goodie bag lined up this year. Yeah. And the companies that have all come on board is Faction Labs. Um, Faction Labs have provided um, eight gym bags for the overall Ooh, winners. Yeah, plus damn. a massive, massive amount of samples for the goodie bags. Like we're talking like hundreds and hundreds of yeah, samples. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So thank you so much to Faction Labs. Rule one always just throws in and says, yeah, yeah, I'll send you out a box of samples. And we end up with like three boxes of yeah. 200. You know, yeah, it's like crazy. Hundreds of samples. Yep. Gentech Nutrition, Nick Jones, thank you so much. Nick has uh, supplied the drawstring bags. Awesome. So Gentech drawstring bags to put all these goodies in. Prana on also provided a whole bunch of samples and some prizes for the overall winners. Red Dragon Nutritionals, one of our favourite mm-hmm. Australian companies. Optimum Nutrition and Transparent Sups, which is... Pump juice. Pump juice. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Mike, uh, providing all these samples. So the... the um, Competitors are going to get a really good loaded yep. goodie bag. So thank you so much to all the companies and, uh, yeah, bring on the show. Yeah, can't wait. Last two weeks, always fun. Yeah. Yeah. Always yeah, fun. Always fun. Yeah, fun and stressful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so any competitor who hasn't put their entry in, just get your entry in now. Yeah. Entries close on Tuesday, ma- uh, Monday the 15th. Monday the 15th. Yeah. So we've got to, as we're filming now, we've got, what, five days? Three, yeah. Four entries close. Yeah. Three. Yep. Yep. It's in soon today. Yeah, five. That's it. That's it. That's it for another week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone. As per normal, this episode is brought to you by Australian Muscle and Australian Muscle, the gym with online delivery. Yeah, over that 20 bucks, it's free. Free? Over yeah. $20. Wow. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. If you've got anything you want us to cover, uh, send us a uh, DM through our socials and we'll answer any questions you've got. Damn right. Thanks, All guys. Right. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye.